In this video, I am going to take some questions related to the transistor which uh, were there in JMIN 2021. So, PYQs of JMIN 2021 related to transistors. So, let us take the first question. The first question says a transistor is connected in common emitter circuit configuration. The collector supply voltage is 10 volt and the voltage drop across a resistor of 1000 ohm in the collector circuit is 0 0.6 volt. If the current gain factor beta is 24 and then the base current uh, will be so you can try this question and let's go for the solution so uh, this is the circuit for your reference so this kind of circuit this is the common emitter configuration circuit working as amplifier so this type of circuit is there and in this the information given is collector supply voltage this is the vcc and this vcc is given as 10 volt this uh, resistance this resistance is sometimes called as the load resistance okay so this is the resistance and this is given as 1000 ohm in the collector circuit and the voltage difference potential difference is given as 0 0.6 volt okay so this is 0 0.6 volt ic multiplied by rc ic is the current in this collector circuit so this is 0 0.6 volt so this much information is given and other information is beta is given as ic upon ib beta is equal to ic upon ib and this is 24 so this much information is given and now we have to find ib so how we can find ib so to find ib uh, i need uh, ic okay so from this information i need ic and ic can be calculated using these two informations so it's a pretty simple question so ic is equal to this 0 0.6 divided by rc and you will find ic directly from here and ib you can find now from this relation so ib is 25 micro ampere okay so this is the correct answer next next question is uh, an npn transistor operates as common emitter amplifier with power gain of 10 to power 6 so it is power gain the input circuit resistance is 100 ohm input side resistance and output load resistance as you have seen in the previous problem 10 kilo ohm the common emitter current gain beta will be so here beta is asked so again this is the circuit for your reference so the relevant informations are shown in this diagram so in this question we are given ap so ap is the power gain okay so ap is the power gain and how power gain is calculated power gain is basically equal to the voltage gain multiplied by the current gain and voltage gain this is a standard result beta multiplied by this ratio rc by rp rc is the resistance used in this collector circuit sometimes called as load resistance and rb is the resistance used in this circuit which is called input circuit and this is called output circuit so this is voltage gain and this is current gain current gain is denoted by beta so this is beta is called rc by rb so this thing is given as 10 to the power 6 the input circuit resistance that is your rb rb is given as 100 ohm and the rc here so you you can see that if rc upon rb is sufficiently large then then <clears throat> there can be large voltage gain okay so this is depending on this ratio rc by rb so rc and rb both are given so rc and rb is given and this ap is given so only thing is asking is beta so beta you can calculate directly beta is 100 so again it's a simple question next so next question is related to the output characteristic curve for npn transistor so this is common emitter configuration and in output characteristic so this is the output current okay this is the output current and this is the output voltage so output current versus output voltage and uh, different different curves are drawn and these curves are drawn for a fixed value of ib so if you take ib equal to this so if ib is less so you can uh, say that uh, ic is also less okay so if ib is increasing so in that case ic is also increasing so this is the curve related to this ib is 10 micro ampere this is the curve this is related to the ib is equal to this so these are the different different curves so let's uh, go for the solution you have to find the current gain beta so in active region in active region of this is the active region of this uh, graph so in active region this beta is equal to beta dc and beta ac so beta dc that means uh, this is the ratio of the absolute currents and beta ac is the ratio of the change in ic and ib okay 
so this is called the ac voltage ac current gain beta ac so in active region in this region when the transistor is operating in this region so in that region uh, beta dc and beta ac both are numerically equal so beta dc if you want to find you have to just put the absolute values of ic and ib so let's say if i take uh, this ic 8 so corresponding to this this is the ib value this is 40 so i can put these values and beta will be 200 i can put in terms of changes also so changes let's say i take these two values 6 and 8 so this is delta ic so i have changed ic from 6 to 8 so this is the change change is at minus 6 and this is the change in ib so 40 minus 30 so from here also you can see the same answer is coming beta is 200 okay so go for the next question so in this question if an emitter current is changed by this much and collector current changes by this much then the value of beta for this circuit is so directly you can see the question is asking you beta so this is a standard sign okay standard symbol and you have to remember that this symbol represents the current gain this is ic upon i okay so let's go for the solution so this is the diagram and uh, in this question we are given the delta ie value delta ic value and for beta we need ic upon ib or you can say delta ic upon delta ib okay so both are equal so delta ic upon delta ib so delta ic is already given you have to find delta ib and for that i can write this relation so at this junction you can see that ib is coming like this and some part is going here and some part is going here so from the junction rule i can write ie is equal to ic plus ib and if i take the change so change in ie is equal to change in ic plus change in ib so from there because i know that what is delta ie i know that delta ic so i can calculate delta ib from here so delta ib is calculated from here and now we can find this beta so beta is coming out to be 7 from here let's go further okay so this is the next question statements question so given below are two statements statement one is PN junction diodes can be used to function as transistor simply by connecting two diodes back to back which acts as the base terminal. In the stat and statement 2 is instead of a transistor the amplification factor beta indicates ratio of the collector current to the base current. So we have to select the appropriate option out of these four. So let us uh, go for the solution. So now you can see that uh, statement 1. Statement 1 is uh, incorrect because you cannot just uh, add you can take two pn junction this is one pn junction this is another pn junction just add this two so it will not work so they have to there will be uh, there will be no interaction between them if you do like this okay so what we do for making even for pn junction diode you cannot you cannot take p and n and just uh, connect them or just add them okay so Connecting P and N will not give you the pin junction diode and connecting two pin junction and adding two pin junction like back to back or any other thing. So it will not give you the N transistor NPN or PNP. So what we do is so it is fabricated. These transistors are fabricated by diffusing impurities in the same semiconductor wafer. Suppose we have taken a semiconductor wafer of N type in this N type wafer in this region i can diffuse the p type impurities okay so when this p type impurities i can diffuse and some diffusion can be made here for n type also so n type concentration will be more than this part so this will be your emitter this is base and this is the collector generally what we show in the diagram is the cross section okay so cross sectional view is uh, something like this so this is your cross sectional view so in the cross section the things look like this okay so this is your emitter let's make it this way this is emitter this is your collector okay so this is your collector and in between there is a base so similarly we can make a p np transistor we will go for, we will take a base here base means the a common wafer which is of p type uh, on that p type we can diffuse this impurities okay so these impurities will be diffused and some diffusion of this p type impurities so that the uh, doping level here will increase as compared to this one so this will act as emitter this will be base and this is collector 
So we cannot add just simply p and p and 2 p and junction to make the transistor. That is completely wrong. So statement one is wrong. Okay, if statement one is wrong, so you can directly see this is the answer. Without going further, you can see this is the answer because options are like that. Statement two. Let's read this statement also. In the study of transistor, the amplification vector beta indicates ratio of the collector current to this current. Okay, so beta is this one, and it is completely correct. And obviously, these two are not related to each other. These two are entirely different statements. Okay, so the correct answer is one. Next question. So next question is, for a transistor in common emitter mode to use an amplifier, it must be operated in. So if we want to use transistor to act as amplifier, so it should be uh, operated in the active region. Okay, so this should be operated in the active region. And what is active region? In active region, the emitter based junction is properly forward biased and the base collector junction is properly reverse biased. So this is the active region. Okay, so it is pretty straightforward question. Let's check the next one. So next question is for a transistor, alpha and beta are given as this. So alpha and beta, these are the two standard parameters in transistor circuit. And in this question, they have given you. Otherwise, sometimes they will not give you. They will simply write alpha and beta. Uh, many times this question is asked also. What is the relation between alpha and beta? And nothing is mentioned. What is alpha and what is beta? So for transistor, these are standard symbols, and you have to remember the symbols so alpha and beta so four relations are given so in this diagram like we have written the previous questions also i is equal to i plus ic and you can see this ic is common in these two so divide by ic okay so if you divide by ic so this will be one by alpha and if you divide by ic so it will be one by beta plus one and now you can rearrange if you find alpha so alpha is beta upon one plus beta if you find beta so beta is alpha upon one minus alpha so from these relations, you can see that uh, this is the only correct relation.